A Virginia auction house said on Friday it was working with federal investigators to determine the legal ownership of a Renoir painting that was purchased at a flea market for seven US dollars. The Potomac Company auction house cancelled the sale of the painting Passage Boards de Seine by Pierre-Auguste Renoir after information was presented that the work was stolen from the Baltimore Museum of Art decades ago. The painting was to have gone under the hammer on Saturday, but ownership questions halted the sale. We had a phone call from the Baltimore Museum of Art from the director letting us know that they had discovered in their files um, after the Washington Post had been there that the painting, there was a notation that the painting had been stolen in 1951. And once we learned that, we immediately contacted the FBI and withdrew the painting from the auction. A Virginia woman bought the signed French Impressionist painting at a West Virginia flea market, hoping the frame would be of some use. She ignored the work until it turned up again while she was cleaning her house. She had it appraised by Potomac in July and the auctioneers verified it as a Renoir and estimated its worth at 75 to 100,000 US dollars. She's certainly disappointed, you know, if you win the lottery, you know, get a lottery card, you think that you get to cash in on it. So she bought it in good faith at a flea market, and so she's disappointed, but she agreed immediately that it needed to be return, or withdrawn um, until we had knew who had clear title. Potomac said the painting had not turned up when it checked London's Art Lost Register, a database of stolen and lost art. It also consulted the FBI's art theft website to confirm it was not listed as stolen. An FBI investigation is currently underway to determine ownership of the rare Impressionist painting.